you know how we do it. <laughs> you know how we freaking do it. Like. So, um, one time, eh, we were still having a conversation. You were like, Your mom did what? She did something to one of your birds. Look, shout out to your mom, seriously. What? Shout out to that woman. <laughs> so, one time I was at work, and I got a phone call from my mom that the animals had said, You know, they are, they, they, they are just to come in. Yeah. So, when they uh, color, like, let's say red. On the feather, you take it until it's no more. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I was awake and I got a call from my mom that they pet one animal. I mean, usually they pet the tail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's you know, what they do. They pet the tail, they keep on pecking the tail and the wings, but usually it's the tail. Yeah. And because they are in pieces, not in range, you can't run. Yeah. Whenever you go, the tail follow you. So they pet the animal to an extent. Um, the behind was quiet with it. So when she called me and um, she gave me the news, I was sad. I said, okay, you should just let it out. The animal is going to die. It up. They said, no, she's going to find a way. So later she called me that she has performed surgery on the animal. <laughs> How? You know, the needle to. <laughs> like, really? Oh, so you know, you know, you know, one 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 the one 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 after five months of that surgery and yeah well before this interview it was still alive and it was sacrificed for this new year so yeah unfortunately wow yeah if you think about it you think it's still the room it's still the room i have to come to that farm that your mom is a legend i never i never oh my goodness oh my goodness Strange time in my life I...